Hello stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Today I want to show you this fabulous card that has such a cool uh, concept when opening it up. I got this idea from the fabulous stamper Margot Richardson and I just fell in love with it and had to recreate it myself. So thank you Margot for this great idea because look how fabulous this is. So it's not just a regular opening for a card. So it's super cute and sort of has that major wow factor because when you first look at it, you're like, oh sure, you know, that's a cute card. I like the diagonals and everything. But then when you see that it opens like this, you're just like blown away and it is super, super cool. So I wanted to show you on how I created this because there's a couple little tips and tricks that I ran into that I need to make sure that, um, that I share those with you. So, of course, when we get started, we're going to start with a sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. So this is just your regular cardstock and you're going to need half of it, but you need half of it diagonally. So from corner to corner. So what I did is I brought in my paper trimmer here. And of course, when you go diagonal, you actually are going like two too far up into, um, you know, like past, past this line here. So like whenever you press it down, then it kind of um, hits a little bit. But either way, I just went ahead and um, I lined it up corner to corner, making sure that my corners were on this center um, like run, uh, because that is where the blade will actually go. So I placed my cardstock in, making sure that both ends were corner to corner in that little slot there. And then I just gently closed it. And then I actually placed my cutting blade like here in the middle, and then went from the middle to the top, and then went from the middle back down to the bottom. And then because I actually left my score blade in here, um, and it's actually on the top, then I'm actually, I didn't get to go all the way to the top, so I always recommend to maybe do that first, is to take that out. Um, so I just have that little bit left over, which I'm just going to cut with my paper snips um, the rest of the way. You could always um, pop it out though. But yeah, you'll wanna make sure to take out your, your score blade so that your cutting blade can go all the way to the top. Cause that's the awesome thing about, actually this, it was at the top, but that's okay. I'll still just trim that the rest of the way. So you'll wanna make sure to take that off because then your blade will be able to go past this like line here, um, this line, and then it'll actually cut diagonal corner to corner all the way. So then you're left with a piece of cardstock that looks like this. So now with this triangle, you're actually going to go with that same center card base. So you're gonna score uh, along this side at five and a half, and then you're gonna score on this side at four and a quarter. So I'm at five and a half and four and a quarter. And so you have that regular card front here on the top, and your corner of your card should be right here on the edge of your triangle. So you'll see here is your card. So your score lines are right there um, matching completely. So that's your regular card front. So we're just going to fold these in, and that's how you have your card base. So then your card base is all ready to go and it's time to decorate. So a couple tips and tricks on decorating. So you will actually need your front pieces. I just did, again, like I normally would for a card front, um, having a piece of cardstock measuring four inches by five and a quarter, which is just a quarter inch in, and that's how you get just that nice little border everywhere around. And then I cut that piece diagonally as well. So you can see here is my designer series paper, and it's four and a quarter by five or I'm sorry, four by five and a quarter. And then I just put it back in my paper trimmer, lined up those corners on this center line, and then cut it diagonally. So I didn't actually put it like all the way down to the bottom um, or the top, 
you know, like I didn't actually line it up on that. I just placed it here in the center and made sure that my corners were nice and lined up on on that crack so you can see right there and so then I cut those now the one tip about this that is kind of tricky is these pieces don't actually always go on there so there's that piece and then the next card will actually have to have the piece up top because this piece doesn't actually go down here so you'll actually have to do it um, do it back and forth like that. So there's that one. Then whenever you go to do your cardstock piece with the embossing, you'll need to make sure that you cut it before you emboss because otherwise you'll press down on your embossed um, pattern there. This one I used the trellis embossing folder. The other thing is each one will have to be done um, opposite. So you can't actually put it in the... Um, the embossing folder like this and run it through because your pieces won't line up. See how this one, um, you know, this one matches like this, but then this one has to go on a different card because I embossed it on the wrong side. So you see how it doesn't fit unless I do it upside down with the embossing, which is fine too, um, because I do really like that debossed sort of look there. So that still works. But um, I just wanted to make sure that you knew that you have to be careful of which side you're using and which side you're embossing because your puzzle pieces need to match up on those triangles just so. So let's bring back in our card. So here we have that um, original that I have. So I did that fun little pattern of the floral there and then I went ahead for the greeting here. I used the um, scallop square framelits. Um, so they have those those fun little um, solid squares as well as the scallops and then they layer all together. And then for the greeting here I actually used the abstract impressions stamp set which is this one here. So I used that little thank you greeting and I went ahead and went with just the thank you rather than decorating with the floral so that it didn't steal from the floral pattern down there. And I used the floral on the inside. So I used a little bit of that leftover designer series paper. There's that little bitty strip left over from the six by six square. So I just added that little strip to the inside there, stamped my greeting, and then of course did that little floral pattern. So it coordinates with the front there. So super, super cute um, with that. And of course you could always decorate this and do this for any sort of occasion, whether it's birthday, thank you, the holidays, um, you know, or anything like that. So super, super fun concept. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and you try this one out yourself. Of course, let me know uh, what occasion you uh, are excited to use this concept for. Be sure to check out my blog for more pictures on this. And of course, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new as I post every Tuesday and Thursday. And also join my mailing list by clicking on the link above. I'll see you guys all next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.